another cigar pairing as you can tell I am not at the Charles Wallingford um, studios aka the back deck I am on uh, on business in a way and since I'm working away I still need to work with you for you guys so I'm still uh, putting out a, a cigar pairing I am uh, enjoying myself it's kind of a windy day as you can tell i hope the uh the, the quality of the audio is not too bad but i am definitely enjoying myself why am i enjoying myself because i have a cigar here that like i always say is, is special but more than that this is one of my favorite cigars of all time but it's a maduro this is the oliva series v meliano in Maduro and this cigar is accompanied by the Woodford Reserve Double Oak the Woodford Reserve Double Oak what can I say it's a special special uh, Kentucky straight bourbon we'll get into what's so special about this Double Oak once we get deeper into this cigar and it's almost our experience is almost done well my experience is almost done Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, back, and I'm um, towards the end, in the first, I mean, in the, in the final third. Let me first talk about this cigar. This cigar is a Maduro, as we all know, and it is uh, giving me those flavors that you ex expect to have in a Maduro. It has the coffee, which I love. Not so much cocoa, but the coffee, a uh, bit of nuttiness, and, um, See, what, what do I just describe it as? I describe it as a uh, really earthy, earthy leather flavor coming through. Um, for me, I really enjoy the, the um, Sumatra wrapper, the original Meliano, a little bit better. This has happened to me before with uh, Maduro's. I've had other Maduro's. I uh, liked the original, and then they had a Maduro. I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. And it was just good. Nonetheless, it was a great cigar. And then we have the Woodford Reserve, Double Oak. The Double Oak, first thing you're gonna notice is the uh, fruity flavors that are coming out of here. Sure, you have the uh, dark or uh, burnt sugar flavor, the, the, dark brown brown sugar flavor you're gonna have that candy corn flavor I always mention about uh, with with Kentucky straight bourbon it's absolutely there but then then there's especially when it's by itself you will experience something like I have to explain like juicy fruit I don't know how to put it any other way the gum juicy fruit I taste a little hint of that and then at the end at the end you will have that extra woody flavor. It's, I can describe it as uh, when you have the end up when you were a kid and you had popsicle, that popsicle stick, you're chewing on the popsicle stick at the end, that's exactly what I am experiencing, but a grown up version. Now what about them together? All right, the score, score would be at 88, 88. Why at 88? Well. These two did not go together, and they didn't uh, they didn't amplify each other. There was a little bit of, uh, of uh, counseling out, a little bit of uh, fighting, 
in the flavor and the cigar didn't get the shine like I believe it should have. Also, for this pairing, I think it made a little bit of the difference or a lot of the difference is the wind. This is quite a windy day as you can hear through the microphone, as you can see in the background. It's a windy day. And I think usually when I have these cigars, the air and the smoke is going above my head and around my face. You have to get a retro hail to release a full flavor of this cigar and it makes a difference. Also, if you haven't checked it out, I've made a video about how to get more flavor. Sometimes, if you don't want a retro hail, you can, you can circle your, your nose, circle your face and you'll get more flavor and I got more flavor from that. So I would like to try this another time, maybe with another uh, Distill A Spirit. I would like to also pair this, this a Distill A Spirit with something else to see if both of these are fit for pairing. I did enjoy myself with this pairing. I have a really nice background, backdrop as you can see on the water. I enjoyed myself. I was really rela relaxed and uh, I had some time to think about what I have and what I've, what I've accomplished and what I would like to accomplish uh, in the future and it was allowed to concentrate on what life is all about and what, I, what I'm thankful for. And I'm also thankful for you for watching this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the pairing. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope it uh, helped you out with your cigar choices, your distilled ace choices, and of course the pairing. I'm Charles Wallenford. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you like this video, you sure definitely should share it. This is how I spent my money.